Hey guys, Waz here, and today I'm bringing you guys an editing tutorial. I haven't done one of these at all before, but I thought this was a needed tutorial to show to some people. As I know, there, there are a lot of editors in this community, and maybe in other communities, I just don't know how to use def maps for your gameplay or montages. My methods some of you may have seen in the past, I've used a lot of def maps, I've had my experience in def maps, and I think I should be able to transfer my knowledge over to you guys. So the reason why I'm making this currently is that Rocket League will, will be releasing an update on April 17th, or by the time you watch this, it may have all already released. Uh, so this update will be where they will be adding replay effects. One of those will be a death map uh, as an effect in game, which is kind of cool. And this this video will show you how to use the death maps to your greatest potential. So uh, the first step is to record your clip or cinematic normally. In this case, it's going to be a player perspective clip. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because if you're on console, especially, you cannot do this. You cannot do a death map with the cinematic. I'll explain that later, but just trust me on that because you need dolly cam and other stuff. So let's not worry about that. So the normal clip I've recorded is this. So you want to select both of these uh, and put them into your composition. Now you want to label these. Uh, if you're beginning, you, you really want 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 to label them. Uh, if you're not beginning, then don't watch this. I don't know what the heck is wrong with you. All right. Uh, so there you go. And so, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna really explain this because I don't really know how to. But just move the def map to the top. All right. So you should see something like this. Um, yeah, you're good now. So you want to select both of these, right click and click pre-compose. Once you do this, call it whatever you want. Just for simplicity, I'm just going to put a two at the end of it and press OK. So now we're now you want to double click on this and we're in the next pre-composition. So you have your death map and you have a normal. But as you can see, by turning, or first of all, I'm just going to turn off sound just because it's a pet peeve. Uh, by turning off the eye of the death map, you'll see like these clips, they don't really line up. The ball's kind of there, but it's in this frame, it's really hard to tell if they line up or not, right? Because the ball kind of lines up. It's not bad. So you may just think, oh, it's lined up. I'm good. However, in order to line them up, line them up perfectly, you want to find a very distinguished frame, something like this. See now, you can see it's like it's a, little, it's very off. The car's rotation is off, and everything just off. So the importance of lining it up is that once you've finally done it and you want to add effects, the effects will show this weird shape. And you don't want a weird shape, do you? No, you don't. No. 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 Okay, anyway. Uh, so, so you want to line these up. Let me just line them up myself. So you just by doing it, you just want to turn on and off and move a couple of frames in the correct direction and see if you're matching up. If you're not, then you just do it. So let me just fast forward me doing this. Alright, now now you can see how this lines up perfectly. Uh, there's a slight little change. Don't worry about that too much. I mean, I can fix it by frames, but it's not that big of an issue. Alright, now it's like basically perfect. However, you'll see, if I zoom out again, you'll see it doesn't have to line up in every single area. This, I guess, wow, I did this. No, you see how like this gold thing in the back? It's kind of like shifting downwards a little bit. Just don't worry about that. Uh, I don't really have to con be concerned. So what you now want to do is you want to go into your, you want to crop this. So you do what I do, uh, I do alt left bracket, it just crops it for you. And then you're good. So now what you want want to do is you want to duplicate your, your normal. So do, so click on it and then do control D and you have your normal. Move it to the bottom. So it should say death map normal normal 2. Now underneath this track mat area, you want to go in here. And click Luma Inverted Death Map. If you do not, if you don't see this track mat, you want to go into Toggle Switches and Modes, and then you'll see this. I think these don't show by default, so you probably won't see them. Just click that, and you'll see them. All right, so you're practically done here. However, uh, in order to show you the most efficient way to do this and the best way to do it, uh, you want to go into your Death Map and add some add an effect called levels 
so you see levels here drag it to your depth map now you want to click the eye of the depth map just so you can see what it looks like uh, I'm doing this don't you, don't you don't have to worry about it but you can see this level will change you want to move this right arrow and it'll change like the whiteness and the blackness and the grayness this is too much this is this is actually perfect for most cases but just add like a little bit don't go overboard this is a little too much you're, you're gonna be losing a lot and this stark contrast will not look good so you want to you want to keep it somewhere in, in this level just don't go too much I'll keep it at normal I don't really need it but you what you do want to do is just in case if your cinematic or or player perspective doesn't match up you want to throw in some blur some blur or something just increase this by a little bit maybe and it'll just get, just get a little blur I mean it's not not too big of an issue you can go really out uh, these these little edges over here that's gonna play a, an issue so once you're done just go back and scale it up you don't really again the blur you don't have to worry about it so for the most part unless if you messed up this is more of like a caution both both of these are just in case you mess up so that's that now what do you do with all this so you have all this <laughs> this this is still a normal cinematic well this bottom one in fact is the one that you apply any effect you want in this case I'm gonna be using a kaleidoscope effect just so you can really see how this works so if I add a kaleidoscope, now do you see in the background, not the foreground, do you see the foreground remains unchanged. The background now has this effect. I mean, it's pretty lit. And now as I change the levels, if I want to turn that on, as I change this, the opacity of the effect over the background or foreground changes. So if I go too high, I've lost. I've lost my, my entire foreground. There's no foreground. Everything's just background. If I go too, you can't really go too low, but if, if, if I show you too low, there's no background anymore everything's foreground so it's like you just want to keep it in a happy medium and if you don't then what's the point of doing this because then if, if you put this all the way down okay that's cool you've done nothing at all you could have just apply that effect to the clip if you've done this you've literally done nothing at all now i really can't find a frame that i messed up on uh that's crazy oh there you go you see this little crescent here this crescent here is it may not seem like an issue but it kind of looks kind of weird, especially if instead of Kaleido, let's say we use an effect like, uh, I don't know, hue, hue and saturation. And for some reason, you think it's a great idea to max out saturation on the background. Now you see how this kind of looks different. Let's say, let's just change the lightness or something. Now you see how this is very, very prominent. So what you want to do is you want to turn this off, turn that off, and you want to go into the depth map and turn on blur. This blur will not get rid of it, but it will definitely appease it a lot. So you want to increase it till it's barely there. So this will now get rid of that crescent. As you can see, this, it doesn't really, do you see this on the right hand side? It's very, it looks terrible. But if you, if you now, if you turn on the blur, it's not even there. Like what's there? Nothing. I don't know. So yeah, that's, that's, that, that's why these are more to catch your mistakes. And yeah, I mean, that's it. There's not much to be said. You can add whatever effect you want to this bottom clip whether it be like something game changing like like some like some stylistic effects you can throw on they won't really work well as you can see unless you change this or stuff like that but i mean i guess you kind of understand what i'm saying so yeah uh shoot thanks for watching i mean yeah thanks for watch uh shoot i don't know how to end this cool i'll see you on the on the battlegrounds on the battle bus.